Welcome to uh, the PowerPoint demo for Chapter 4. In this chapter, we start completing the accounting cycle. We, we've introduced you to a lot of accounting terminology and the journal entries and the general ledger and the general journal. Now we're going to run you through a complete cycle and have you close the uh, financial statements out and generate financial statements. Close the books and generate financial statements. We're going to talk about using a worksheet. And, uh, you know, for most businesses, uh, with the way they're computerized today, they probably don't do a lot of worksheet activity. Although, uh, I'm guessing that experienced accountants still find it a, a real useful tool. Um, then we'll look at the steps in closing, uh, closing books. We have to prepare and post the closing entries and then do a, uh, a cleanup trial balance to make sure that we got everything posted uh, correctly. Uh, and then we'll look at reversing entries, which, uh, which I always like to reverse the entries and make life simpler for me. And then uh, correcting entries, which occasionally we all have to make. And then uh, we're going to review uh, in some depth uh, balance sheets. We're going to look at classified balance sheets. We're going to look at uh, a worksheet. It's a multi-column uh, piece of paper used to prepare financial statements. It's not a permanent accounting record, although most companies keep it for a long time. And it involves a five-step process. Uh, use of the worksheet is optional. Again, I think experienced accountants are probably still using it. Uh, though with some of the uh, computerized things, it may not be as critical as it was. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, worksheet. The uh, left-hand column is for account titles, and columns B and C on this spreadsheet are for the trial balance, the debit credit column. Then we've got two columns for adjustments, debit credit. Then we have an adjusted trial balance. Then we have two columns for income statement and two columns for the balance sheet. The starting point is to uh, look at your general uh, ledger and list all of the accounts that have a balance in it. List them in, in account order. So in this case we have cash with a debit of 15.2, advertising expense with a debit of 2,500 and so on. Notice that uh, those columns total up and the columns balance. If they don't balance then we violated the 12th commandment that debit should equal uh, credit. Our next step then is to make uh, adjusting journal entries. And we go ahead and we, we analyze the existing account to see what's changed, what's been recorded that needs to be deferred, what hasn't been recorded that needs to be accrued, uh, and, and make those adjustments. We're not going to post them at this point, however. We're going to make the adjustments and put them in the adjustment column of the worksheet. And then we, uh, we add, as you can see on the left-hand side, we've added additional accounts. We added advertising, supply expense, insurance expense on the worksheet. We probably already have them in the general ledger, but they had zero balances, so we didn't list them. Now we list them. Um, we record our adjustments in the adjustment column, and we total the adjustment column. And again, debits equal credit, so the total of those two columns should equal each other. Then we compute uh, our adjusted trial balance. Um, you can see that on the second line here, advertising supplies on the trial balance had a debit of 2500 In the adjustment column, we credited that account for 1500 so it nets out to be a $1,000 adjusted trial balance. So we do that for all of the accounts, uh, and we come over and if we haven't made any math mistakes or other mistakes, then our adjusted trial balance, the debits and credit columns, will, will equal each other. In this case, it's 30190 The next step is to extend, to take from the adjusted trial balance column all the income statement items and put them in the income statement column. 
so that cash, advertising, supplies, prepaid insurance, office equipment, those are in balance sheet accounts, so they would not go on the income statement. Instead, we drop down to things like service revenue, salary expense, uh, rent expense, advertising, so on, and drop those in. Notice that uh, the debit column here is 7740 and the credit column is 10600 So those don't equal. We have a revenue of 10600 and we have expenses of 7740 That means we have a net income. If our debit column there was larger than our credit, then we have a loss. But notice that those don't balance at this point. We're going to fix that in just a second. Next thing we do is to extend all the asset liability and owner's equity accounts to the balance sheet columns. So cash, advertising, prepaid insurance, and so on get uh, pushed over to the uh, balance sheet columns. And we total the debit column and the credit column for the balance sheet. And again, those don't balance. And the reason they don't balance here, that difference is the income. It's the uh, Different. It's the same difference between the uh, income statement columns that we have in the balance sheet columns. At least it should be. So we compute our net income or loss. Here you can see that we had a uh, income of twenty-eight thousand sixty. If it had been a loss, it would have been in the credit column on the income statement and the debit column on the balance sheet. So a quick review question here. Net income is shown on a worksheet in the income statement debit only column. We know that's not true. We know it had to show up in both income statement balance sheets. So A and B are wrong. Uh, a, I'm sorry, C, the income statement credit column and the balance sheet debit column. We know that's not right because we just saw the picture where it showed up in the other one. So the correct answer is D, the income statement debit column and the balance sheet credit column. You can keep that straight because the balance sheet credit column will increase owner's equity, which is what it 